whatever. Oh, look, it's Aaron. He's back. Wow. Idiot. Actually, don't do me. Come here. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, hey, Aaron. Uh, Have you heard about the pro Jared thing, Aaron? <laughs> we got to talk about the pro Jared thing? <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about Borderlands 3. I thought you were going to ask him about that. Yeah, I'll get there in a bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes, he knows. I told him yeah, about I have, it. Yeah, have I? Your picture that... Oh, that. The thumbnails <laughs> looks like pro Jared. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> so the picture I you, the the picture I used for you that I drew, uh, we realized looked like Pro Jared. And we uh, can that not happen, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault that you're a spitting image of him, and you're <laughs> like him. and also you've done many things that are very similar to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now I think about it. But yeah, I was telling Aaron about the Pro Jared thing, and he thought, "Wow, what a hero." <laughs> Oh, yeah. True me that's like him. <laughs> I want to be just like him. Yeah, that's what, well, that's the thing. Aaron's picture that I used for him was actually drawn by request of him. I said, Aaron, are you sure you want to look just like Pro Jared? And he said, yes. Like, what if something he is goes my wrong? hero. So what if something goes horribly, horribly wrong? He said, like what? Well, what if Pro Jared cheats on his wife and also shows his dick to kids? That won't happen. Come on. When has that ever happened before? Whatever chance it is, man. We'll be right back. Are those, those are explosions caused by Aaron, aren't they? Uh, He's just smashing people and exploding. Yeah, everything he does just makes everything explode. <laughs> like my fucking dick, dude. Yeah, uh, he smashes that often. He does, man. He's looking at kids. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, would you like it? How much would you like if we started spreading rumors that you were a kitty fiddler? Um, would not like I that. would not like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why not? Wow. Okay. This <laughs> I get you on this slander. has gone from too soon to just straight out inappropriate. Although I don't know if you've heard about this, Aaron. Do you know who Mecha Rec is? No. Okay. Well, he's mm. a TF2 YouTuber. Um, he was actually smaller than me, but I knew him a little bit, and it turns out that he is also. I didn't know that people could be smaller than an ant. You're on thin fucking ice right now, okay? Aaron, Amazing what are your thoughts on Borderlands 3? We were talking about it briefly earlier. <clears throat> the whole controversy? Yeah. Well, it's, it's just your general thoughts. Because for me, what it is, is like, I want to be excited, but like, my thing is that like, I want to be excited for it, but... <laughs> <laughs> there was a car that passed by, a car passed by, every, every... and we both turned and looked at it. <laughs> God damn it, okay. We, we, we're very self-aware of that. Um, every time I look into Borderlands 3, it makes me depressed because of the amount of controversy and stuff. And as a result, it's been difficult to get excited for it. What yeah. about you? I'm pretty much in the same boat. Um, I've got a feeling... Like, I'm not going to get it for a while because of um, its exclusivity. But other than that, like, it, I think the game itself will be fine. I think they're yeah. trying to... Yeah, I think it's the fact that it's mired in controversy, like you say. Yeah. I just, like, I haven't even looked any, into it. I haven't watched, like, the gameplay videos or anything. It's just, like, I don't know. Look, the gameplay looks alright. It's just a few looks things that are looks very different, apparently, right? For me, like, you know, it's the... Latest and greatest Borderlands. Like, they're, they're, um... The ability to customize. Like, because you, you know how you've got your action ability. Um, yeah. In Borderlands 3, from what they've shown, you can, like, super customize it. Like, they'll give you... You have to equip your um, upgrades, as opposed to them just being passive all the time. Mm. As, yeah. as far as I know, anyway. It looks like it's... See, that's the thing. Before I get the game, I should really look at these videos and figure out what the hell is going on with it, because they've changed a few things like that. I've already pre-ordered mm. it, so you know, I'll just find out when You've I get it. You've just committed yourself about yeah, it, just without knowing anything about Borderlands about 3, it. yes please. <laughs> And you've never played any of the others. <laughs> no, well, it's a bit more convenient for me because I don't have any of them on Steam, so just opening an Epic account. Apart from well, the fact that enough. Epic is... Um, the Epic Game Store has quite a few basic features missing from it. I think it's... I don't have a major problem with it. I understand the exclusivity issues about it and the just kind of poaching um, from the marketplace, effectively. Isn't that supposed to be mm -hmm. a mini-boss here? Did you guys just do this? No. That's what I was thinking. We did it with the bird man, whatever he's called. No, no, no. That's, that's, that was, oh, see, that was the boss, yet. but when, usually when you come back here, there's a mini boss, but oh, no one Yeah, know. it's like Son of Mothrak, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a mission. No, it's well, not a mission, it's just a right. Mission. 
it's it's like a filler boss where you can't actually fight the the actual boss because it's story related so they put in you know ah. there's also this natural selection annex mission oh hell yeah let's do that you want to do that yeah <laughs> it's a um it's a uh like a circle of slaughter i think the what's with epic games the biggest issue for it is it's the conquer the world attitude Mm. trying to yeah. grab all the good stuff and that and that method isn't very appealing to the average consumer really? you kind of it's, want them to be good on I their own merit I think they've gotten a big head from Fortnite yeah yeah but that's the thing they're just they're it's not relying upon it's own gameplay it's re- relying on the fact that it's you know they've made a lot of money and they're just spending it to make money mm. they just think and that they've uh, they're top shit it's yeah. Wait, well, it's I mean, this is this is the look, same company that made the Unreal Engine and Unreal Tournament. That was very popular for quite a few years, and so that sort of thing. They also made Bullet Storm apparently, which I thought that was interesting. So they do have some kind of quality to their business. Um, oh yeah. Just this recent turn of events has been pretty disappointing. Like uh, that when when uh, a person has power, apparently they change quite a bit. I want to go this way. Okay, no, I don't. I give yeah, up. Were you crouching when you were jumping? No. Uh, you God damn it! Crouch what jumping is a bad thing I'm in Borderlands. Sorry, don't hit me again. I like how when I yell, I don't yell. I know. <laughs> I muffle my own voice. You have yell. to yell like this. No. That's, no, you I, still didn't do it. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a small boy. <laughs> You're not a small boy. A small boy. Don't You're like a huge, noise. lanky, freaking cryptid from the beneath. Yeah, I know. That's why I crouch so much. Why I hunch. Hunch over. You're the hunchback of yeah. the formerly known as Notre Dame. Oh god! Well, didn't they I'm not good with the uh, like, <laughs> with the know, timing in this episode, am I? Seven hundred billion dollars to rebuild it or whatever. It is. Well, did you see that they actually their plans to rebuild it to make it look more modern? And everyone's like, Oh no! god, what the heck? Why? Well, I suppose in but some way. But the idea is that like it it was it would be made like a homeless shelter and stuff. So mm. I don't know. Mm. It's weird. I haven't been looking into it. I just see people on Twitter talking about whatever. Uh, it's, it's it's an interesting thing to not to have something sort of burned down by terrorism or whatever. Oh. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was. Um, it was electrical thing. Yeah, oh. it was electrical fault. It's a minor cock up that burned the whole thing down. Yep. <laughs> Basically. Uh, Welcome to real life, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is. A, this is a, this is a, how many rounds are there? It's not animal cruelty if they're trying to kill you. You got a point. Is that, are they, so there's what, four waves? And therefore four rounds? Um, there's five rounds, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so is this complete waves one to four, but does that mean there's four rounds? Or is that uh, four no, waves no, per each, round? Each, uh, so each round is a different mission. So this is the first mission which has four waves. Oh. We have to kill creatures with critical hits. I'm trying. I'm also trying. Wait, I can kill this guy. Boom. See? You gotta use, um, what's the Pokemon thing you can get to make it more critical hit the, possible? The critical hit meter. No, but there's a, a thing you can buy from the, from the shops and get a uh, critical hit thing. A dire hit? Alright, we did it. Maybe it's dire hit. Protein. Protein? Protein shake? Neutral grain. <laughs> yeah. Just give him good Cocoa stuff box. in his cereal. Mm. Get some, get some wheat picks. You know, that's another movie I did see was just Detective Pikachu. But we were gonna talk about movies, and we figured, hey, you're here, here, Aaron. Let's talk about in the game. Because maybe he wants to talk about it because well, he's a loser. I haven't seen in game. Or should we talk about it next time? Because the timing just went off, and this is uh, the perfect time. Uh, well, it's not the perfect time because we're in the middle of a, a, it's the perfect a time wave of baloney. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Hang on. You just do a quick stop start. Okay, Three. fine. Three, two, one. See you later. Goodbye.